Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Jesse, and then in today's tutorial, we'll be learning about networking in Julia using request. So if you don't have the package, you can just use this command pkg.add to download the package. And if you already have it, just go with using then request. Right? So that you can have access to the functionalities of this. So what are some of the things you can do with this request package? You can first of all do a get request, you can do a normal post request, you can do a normal delete you can do several options like options <laughs> and then etc like several of them you can do so let's try and see what you can do with it so first of all let's try with the get request so to do with the guest request just go with this nt right for network then get function the get takes several arguments one of the arguments it takes the url so we'll be using the url of the official wikipedia to Julia URL and then you paste it right so after that right okay so it's go to the website and then give you the response of it and then the request that is receiving from it is going to get go to this URL and then give you the response back so you see that it has given us the request that is the response is 200 which is okay and then 28 headers so one of the things about it that you can just do nt then status status to give you the response which is going to be 200 okay and then you can also do nt and then the headers the headers is going to be given in the format format of a dictionary so you can just put everything that is going to be given in the format of a dictionary like this which is being shown here to the connection the key and then so to be like the connection which is going to be the keys and then the values okay so you can put all of these things into let's say nt nt is it more traditionally like this so nt dot headers right and then you can just go straight away with nt me go with nt right nt deck then you want to check maybe for the server, just go with server. And it's going to give you the name of the server, which was this. See, that's one of the things you can also do. You can also use it for server and stuff like nt dash dict. Then let's say you want to take something like the h. It's going to give you the h 293 Okay, so that's one of the things you can also do. So, what other things can you do? You can also check for the cookies like nt cookie cookies right and it's going to give you the cookie okay so like to give you all the cookie that you want to use and then you can use it perfectly so these are some of the things you see that has given us the cookie which is my g geo ip and then all the other functionalities also you can if you, if you want to read the test of it there's one way you can do it you can just go with request right request then test then to bracket you put your nt which is the nt for your chip for url this nt put it inside here i want to read the actual source code for you so that is giving us the actual html javascript css source code again if you want to read it in a json format there are some ways you can do so let me change the url and use this http pen.org url so okay so let's try it with nt2 right nt2 for the json and then get then to brackets let me put get here okay so i'll just go with so that's 200 is okay the response is okay the 14 headers so if i want it in the format of a json i'll just go with request then json then it's going to give you nt2 it's going to give you several functionalities as well as even your ip address which you are using to reach to the site so after that there are several things you can also do so it's giving you the ip address the headers the arguments and then the url as well as your origin that is the ip address you are using 
okay so let's check some other things you can also do with this yeah if in case you want to send a post request let's see that one too okay, so let's say if you want to check for a post request you want to send or do a query one of the things you can do is NT, right let's make it NT query and then we go with get then you still use the same URL we're using right and get I'm going to put the query inside as a next argument which is going to be query then it's going to be in the format that most often when when we ask for a request is it, it give it to us in the format of a dictionary so if you want to put as a query you just use the same format as a dictionary so dish dict then into brackets you put your it's a title right that is the title of the page that you want to go to then you pipe it or you ass assign it to the page so page let's say three it's going to open for me so if i go anti query so that's it just responding perfectly respond to it is okay and 14 and this so, so to send me to that url and then this page three okay so what again maybe you want to post something so if you want to post something and just go with anti post then instead of get you're going to use the post function just an inbox function for the request then your url then let me make it as post and then whatever argument i want to post there so i'm just going to go with something simple like uh, let's say data let's go to Okay. hello Julia right so we're going to just add it to it for us okay it's working so if I go with empty post right and I do like I do like let's say let's make it like request which is actually just for it request dot test putting them into bracket so that has given to us you see that the hello julia is here the hello julia that we sent as a data has been added to it perfectly has been assigned or has been posted on it so these are some of the things you can do with this request there are several things you can try so you can just go through to this website and then try all these things perfectly so thank you for watching if you have any question or contribution you can just put it inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit and then please don't forget to subscribe stay blessed